Stop for a second. What's going on? Sexual type of thing? Are we talking like? What you say? What did he catch? So here's what happened. <laughs> no one will know. I saw something that's gonna change our lives forever. Might even change our thoughts about what we really think about Tokyo. I was actually filming the last video and they made me delete it. I got caught. I thought I was gonna go to jail for a second. I'm not even kidding. I was scared. We went in there basically like. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably from the countryside. All right, I'm gonna take a picture, so let's make some way. Move one of these out of the way. What is wrong with you guys? Wow. Oh, we're out in Akihabara. Akihabara. Yeah. Did I say it right? I don't know. There's something really fascinating about these signboards. I know it's a crazy you thing to say, but it's just like the signboards are like the coolest thing. Look at this. Nice, right? Up there. And it's the weekend today, so because it's the weekend, they got all the roads closed as well, so you can make, we're, we're walking on the road right now. So I think we're gonna try and find a couple of spots to take some photos, we're gonna get some food to eat. And then apparently, Maid Cafe is a, is a thing over here. We're gonna go check out Maid Cafe later too. All right, what's up with this Maid Cafe thing? Tell me. So it's a way for not that great looking men to hang out with a girl. What do you mean hang out with a girl? Like what can you do? Just they just do much but they'll play little games with you. What kind of games are we talking about? Like rock, you just paper, hold on. Stop for a second. What's going on? Is this like sexual type of thing or is this no, just no, no, no. very innocent? Very innocent and then they pretend to be your servant. Oh wait hold on when we say servant are we talking like servant like they'll do anything or no they'll they'll bring you food that's about it. <laughs> and they'll feed you. They make you they feel like you're a king. Yeah. Oh okay nothing sexual. Alright that works. <laughs> Alright uh, show, we ready for some photos? Yep. Alright, let's go. This seems like a good spot over here. Let's get some photos. What'd you say? First time at oh. Cafe. She got super excited. It's yeah. your first time? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have a question. Thank you. I see it's uh, business as usual over here. Crazy busy out here. I'm kidding. It's just us. And these guys with the bunny ears. <laughs> Or you can't film their face or like you can't film them. Do you wanna to go to another place? Like where you can film? Yeah. Right? Here's what happened. We went in, we asked them downstairs if we can film and they said yes. And then we went upstairs and they said we can't film. So we left. I mean, I think you guys pretty much saw what happens over there. I'm good. I don't know about you guys. I mean, I got to see what I needed to see. I think B Squad got to see what they needed to see. I think we could just tick the box and just move along. Going to attempt number two at trying to see a main cafe. We don't really want to go. It's just Sean really wants to go see this place. Hey. All right, just in case they don't let us film again so you guys can see what's going on over there. That's basically what it is. Here, I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> no one will know. <laughs> you can't film other customers, you can't film the ladies, but you can film inside. Guys, this is so far is so good. They haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> but I don't know what happened here. They got a like bunny, 
bunny ears on everyone? I saw something that's gonna change our lives forever. Might even change our thoughts about what we really think about Tokyo. Oh boy, they didn't let me film, but I had the Snapchat glass on. Take a look. Alright, so it's time to order and apparently when you order you gotta hold the ears and you gotta say Tell her how to do it Go like this and loud voice Go, go Do it <laughs> Is that how you do it? It just means meow meow Why the hell we say meow meow if we got bunny ears on? That's what I wanna know And why do we have bunny ears on in the first place? Basically, they went up on that stage and they just performed this song. And it was like, how do I explain it? So what happened? You pay for that show? One of the guys paid for that show. Yeah. Paid for a girl to sing whatever song she sang. It cost four thousand eight hundred yen. Right. But wait, they made the show look so good here, but it was literally just one girl dancing on this stage. Actually, yeah. you can either order the show Kawaii Happiness Combo. Then they have Happiness Combo. Then they have original cookie, omelet, rice, curry, desserts, drink. <laughs> And I'm gifts. Sure you can rent out an out outfit. You can choose a drink if you want. I was actually filming the last video and they made me delete it. I got caught. And she was like insistent on deleting the video. I was hoping to put that video in when she was telling me to delete, but I thought I was gonna go to jail for a second. I'm not even kidding. I was scared. She's like, no, you delete now. Delete now. I was like, I'll delete it later. She's like, no, delete now. She couldn't speak English until it was time to tell her to delete. <laughs> like speaking Japanese, then say, no, you delete now. <laughs> I don't even speak so much English. <laughs> All of a sudden she speaks. All of a sudden, yeah. <laughs> she, she's like, don't ask questions, just delete now. <laughs> Yo, what happened to, you said they're gonna feed us, they're gonna play games with us. We went in there, basically, like, it was extortion. You got us yelled at for your camera. <laughs> they might have treated us better. They wouldn't even let me film them, like, Making the cappuccino. We went in, we sat down, they made us buy a drink each. No, I just heard stories of places like that. I've never been there. There was nothing in there that was what you described. Yeah. Oh well. Next time, now you know what to tell other people. <laughs> We're back in Harajuku. Uh, this street full of weird people and cool stuff. Some cool things to eat, some nice things to buy. A lot of people are so busy out here. <laughs> Good. It's like a donut covered in cornflakes, yeah. deep fried with custard in the middle. Mm. Damn. Anytime anyone's standing in line for so long, you know it's worth. <laughs> Those two guys over here, they're squatting, right? Yeah, yeah. That's called yankizuari, and that's like a badass stance in Japan. Oh, really? Like if you're like that in front of a convenience store, it's like you're, it's like a thug. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're probably from the countryside. They don't know how to act in Tokyo. In Tokyo, you got you got to be more proper than that. There we go. At least we got one fact out of you yeah. today. <laughs> the squat. The squat is a very big. Show me how it is. Show me. Squat. Show me the squat. Yeah. Oh, just a regular squat. You just like stand like that in front of a convenience store or something. You run that area. Oh right, right. That's so crazy. It's like mirrors everywhere, and then there's escalators. 
outfit change and we're taking a couple more photos uh, here in the streets of Tokyo. And then we're going to a cool restaurant. You gotta wanna see this, alright? Let me just do these photos and I'm gonna take you to the coolest restaurant in Tokyo. Maybe it's not the coolest, I think it's the coolest. I'll tell you about it later. Alright, before we go for dinner, we're having dinner. Uh, no, this is like uh, another thing I was told to try out. Let me let Sean explain. He's gonna explain wow. things. <laughs> I'm out of words. No, Alright, Priscilla, here we go. I can't speak English. Alright, show, come on. This comes from Osaka, not Tokyo. This is Osaka's food. It's oh my god, it looks like it's dancing. Not a lie, but it looks like it's dancing. So from the heat. What is it? Oh, so mean. Yeah, fish chickens, but so you put, there's an octopus inside of a whole octopus is inside it. No, it's just like a okay. little chunk of it is inside. So it's no. batter and it's batter. octopus chopped up and, and then fried. and sauce and mayonnaise. Well, we'll be right back after these messages. That thing was pretty good. I tried another one. Another one. That had like cheese on top, like spicy mayo, and that was good. The only thing I didn't like is the, the texture of the octopus. When you're eating the octopus, very true. I think without the octopus, it would have been better. Alright, let me tell you guys where we are. This is a restaurant where they shot the scene in Kill Bill. You know the famous scene? Let me show it to you real quick. Any more subordinates for me to kill? That scene was shot right here, Quentin Tarantino. I don't know if he shot it in here or he recreated the place to look exactly like that for the movie, but inspired by here for sure. It's one of the places that you have to visit when you come to Tokyo, and I can't wait. I mean, I'm a big fan of the movie. I'm a big fan of Quentin Tarantino as well. I love his movies, and I love that movie in particular. So let's go inside, check this place out. Let's go inside. So this is the name of the place, called Gompachi. Oh, everyone's been here. Zaydan, Stevie Wonder, Aerosmith, Neo, Keanu Reeves. Giant Depp, Lincoln Park, Lady Gaga, Flow Rider, Guns N' Roses, Maroon 5, Sly. All right, I'm gonna take a picture, so let's make some way. Move one of these out of the way. <laughs> All right, this is it. Now I'm starting to remember the scene. So here's a couple of things. We see Quentin Tarantino, the film director of Kill Bill. That's a copy of the DVD. Dying at Kill Bill restaurant. They nicknamed this place Kill Bill restaurant, but it's actually called Gompachi. A welcome message. Welcome to Kill Bill restaurant, Gompachi. So this is upstairs. They have like a sit down on the floor area. Japanese style tables and chairs. We're sitting right there, by the way. That's us. So I guess this is kind of like where it was inspired by. We have a top view. Her name was Lucy Lou, I think. She was down here. And then the other girl was downstairs, and that's when the fight started inspired by him. Can I ask you a question? Was the movie filmed here or inspired by here? Just in inspired. Inspired, right? Uh, but uh, one thing, yeah. you, you know, snow thing, snow fighting. Okay. Okay. Wow. Ah, so the snow yeah. fighting scene was filmed here. And the Kill Bill scene, you said it was inspired by the restaurant, but it was filmed somewhere else. But they designed it to look like yes. Gompachi. So that's where the snow scene was filmed. Right outside. This is gyoza pizza, is what they call it. So gyoza is like fried dumplings. And that's just fried chicken? It's fried chicken. You stole from the Koreans, right? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, relax. You stole from the Americans. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next, what are we working with, Sean? Shiitake mushroom stuff with chicken. Hold on, you were out of focus, do it again. <laughs> 
there's a shiitake manchu. Shiitake, damn, I did it again. <laughs> Stuffed with chicken. All right, show, you tell us, what's up? What are we working with? Normal chicken, ground chicken. Almost thighs, chicken thighs. Right. Chicken show? thighs. So this is just uh, noodles, you dip it into the soy sauce? Yeah, so you get these soy noodles, you take some, you can uh, put in some of these onions or wasabi if you like into the sauce. You dip it real quick and then you just... Uh, you go ahead, put all that wasabi in there. Hell no. <laughs> you guys, after you're done with your yakitori sticks, you don't, you don't put them on the plate like what I did. You gotta put them on here because they reuse them again. Somebody else can... <laughs> I'm kidding. They don't reuse them. Oh, no tips, huh? But they got a fountain of wishes. All right, guys, that's it from us over here. Gompachi, the Kill Bill restaurant was super dope. Food's really good. And you gotta try this drink called Namlet. It's like a soda, but it tastes great. So uh, good. Shout out to Daniel's friends for bringing us out over here. Sean, Priscilla, Show, And shout out to Layla for Yo, introducing us. Uh, we had a great trip over here in Tokyo. So last night, we got one more day tomorrow. You might see some stuff, you might not, because we got a last minute shopping to do, and then we're catching up and flying back to Dubai. Peace! Peace <laughs> See you guys in Dubai! See you guys! Bye.